A very good morning, dear students. In the chapter, our soils. In that, we have so far learnt the importance of soil, soil formation, and types of soil. In the types of soil, we have six kinds of soils which we generally see in India. So, students, the types of soil are. alluvial soil black soil red soil laterite soil desert soil and mountain soil so let us recall the types of soil once again and we'll move on to the remaining that is laterite desert and mountain soil meaning and its characteristics in which are the regions these soils are generally found which crops they are better to grow we'll see in the today's topic so students the loose upper most layer of the earth in which the plants and trees grows is called what soil and it is going to be an important natural resources and it it is important for the various kinds of uses like we get food cloths medicines utensils construction of materials filters rain water and for agricultural activities and what not so next comes is formation of soil so the basic things to form the soil is what rocks as these rocks expands due to heat and sunlight heat of the sun it gets warm and it cool gets cooled and this process repeats again and again the rock gets crack and break into smaller pieces and this or runs through with the during the war, what rain water and winds carry this soil and forms a deposit at different places so when the remains or the decompose of the dead plants and animals gets mixed with this soil becomes known as what humus which mixes with the top soil this is how the formation of soil is going to happen so next was the types of soil actual today's topic so generally in india we have six kinds of soils in that the first one is alluvial soil which is formed due to the action of rivers or the uh, moving of the or the flowing of the mountain rivers breaks the rocks into fine particles smaller particles called silt or alluvium we call it as so when these rivers is going to be break the rocks into fine particles smaller particles they settle on the banks of the river banks of the river so this alluvial soil is will be most fertile that is it is be most suitable soil to grow the crops like rice rice wheat maize cotton tobacco pulses oil seeds and sugar cane these are the best crops which you can grow with the help of the alluvial soil and it is been generally found in the northern plains and the coastal plains next is second type one is black soil so as the name itself tells the black soil it is black in color because of the lava is present in lava rocks is present then it is been called by different names like regular soil black lava soil black cotton soil which has rich in humus humus is nothing but the decomposition of the dead plants and animals and it holds a water tightly it has a capacity and crops like cotton sugarcane oil seeds wheat and millets can be grown in the black soil and the black soil is found in the states of maharashtra madhya pradesh gujarat rajasthan karnataka telangana Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, and the third one is red soil. Here the red soil, why it is red in color? It because it's due to more iron content. Minerals of iron content is more, and it is is not very not fertile. That means it is not suitable to grow crops. It is not uh, the soil has not got the features to grow the crop. But if the fertilizers and the manure are added. natural fertilizers and manure it becomes suitable to grow the crops like rice millets groundnut tobacco and vegetables and generally the red soil is majorly found in which are the state so 
स्टूडेंट्स इट इज फाउंड इन तमिलनाडु आंध्र प्रदेश कर्नाटक छत्तीसगढ़ एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ ओडिशा झारखंड एंड मध्य प्रदेश नाउ द फोर्थ वन इज लैटरेट सॉइल वॉट इट्स नेम लैटरेट सॉइल विच इज रेड इन कलर वाई बिकॉज ड्यू टू द प्रजेंस ऑफ आयरन एंड एल्यूमियम द लैटरल सॉइल इज रेड इन कलर सो इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ रेड सॉइल एंड क्ले वी कैन से एंड लैटरल सॉइल इज एज इट इज रिच इन आयरन ऑक्साइड एंड इट इज डिड फ्रॉम वेरियस ऑफ रॉक्स सो द लैटरल सॉइल इज रेड इन कलर ड्यू टू द प्रजेंस ऑफ आयरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम एंड इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ वॉट रेड सॉइल एंड क्ले so it is not very fertile and which will be found in generally in the area of high rainfall and temperature so due to this heavy and continuous rainfall what happens so the minerals generally is going to be eroded or removed from the soil so as water passes in during the heavy rainfall so generally what they say that lateral soil is red in color due to the presence of iron and aluminium so this is not suitable for to grow the crops as it contains more iron oxide so iron oxide is as more present in this soil and during the rainy season what happens generally the due to the heavy and continuous rainfall the minerals which are present in this soil which are required for the generally to grow the crops it is going to be eroded it is going to be moved it is going to be removed from the soil as water passes through it you can see soil erosion through the water heavy rainfall so crops like tea coffee spices fruits coconut and rubber grown well in this soil which soil latter and soil and it is found in which are the states karnataka kerala odisha and assam it is desert soil desert soil is which in, in which color reddish brown in color and these soils will be having the soil in this regions are how it is loose and sandy so it cannot retain the moisture generally the soil sands does not hold the does not have the capacity to to hold the water so it cannot retain or it cannot have the moistureness in it so students it makes soil infertile it is not suitable to grow the crops so the areas where the water is available for the irrigation wheat maize gram barley millet cotton which can be grown in this soil at a less number and generally desert soil uh, why it is not suitable or why we can say that the soil is infertile because it contains first and foremost thing it does it is a sandy and second is it does not uh, retain the moistureness and does not hold the uh, have the capacity to hold the water and uh, third is uh, it has a low content of nitrogen which is required for the plants to grow well next it has a high calcium carbonate and phosphate and so it is less fertile it is less content of nutrients poor nutrients is very less and lack of water and there is no organic or natural fertilizers which are can be grown so generally in desert region uh, it is relatives less rainfall we can say and it is having a less content of nitrogen and nutrients which is required for the crops to grow and the last one is mountain soil mountain soil is in which color brown color and the other name for the mountain soil is what forest soil so students we can say that mountain soil is also known as the forest soil which is in brown in color it has got rich in humus that is more humus is present in this kind of soil which is mountain soil has got a large number of humus so it is very good and for growing tea coffee spices and fruits it is present in the states of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand assam sikkim arunachal pradesh west bengal so the in the, in the northern part of india himalayan ranges we can found the mountain soils and mountain soils are formed due to the changing in weathering of 
which is caused by snow, rain, temperature and the variations of the weather conditions etc. So these are found in the valley basin and it consists of this mountain soil consists of sandstone, limestone, clay etc. So humus is nothing but the natural organic matter, matter which is going to be formed by what due to the decomposition of leaves and the other plants material in the soil with the help of the microorganisms it is going to be become the soil fertile that is humus so students in today's class we learnt three kinds of soil which are those lateral soil desert soil and mountain soil so lateral soil which is reddish in color as the presence due to the presence of iron and aluminium and it is going to be um, present where the rainfall and the temperature is high because of this what happens continuous rainfall the minerals will be eroded as the water passes during the rainy season and as it passes through the water the minerals which are required for the crops to be grown is will not be available and desert soil it, it is a reddish brown in color and it is generally having a loose and sandy it does not have the capacity to hold the water and it has a low content of nitrogen and less nutrients which are required for the crops to, to grow and mountain soil is formed by due to the weather caused changes to the snow rain temperature and variations in the climatic condition so these are the main points of the kinds of soil or the types of soil in the next class we are going to learn about conservation of soil how we can protect the soil from hazards or problems or pollution how to reduce the soil pollution how we can save the save the soil in order to grow proper crops or in order to have the fertility of the soil in the next class so students please go through the video i will be sending you the reference video along with this please go through Still more few points you are going to discuss in the live class. Thank you.